Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to demonstrate the use of a setup row inside of Inventor model states, and also why I think they can be very useful. So first things first, I just have a very simple part. It's basically dimensional lumber with a hole in it in case maybe I'm gonna run some wires through a, a vertical stud or something like that. And <clears throat> just some simple parameters here to control it. So what I mean by a setup row is I want to be able to modify this long-term in Excel. It's just a very efficient way to modify model states. But when I have the primary only, I don't have the ability to edit the model states via Excel. So what I'll do is I'll create a new model state, and I simply call this the setup state. And the reason I like to use this particularly on moderate to maybe complex level model state parts is whatever I modify now with this model state active, I'll be able to edit it inside of Excel. So for example, if I wanted to come up and change the width to 5.5, now that value will show up in Excel because the only time that columns appear is when a value has been modified in one of the model states not including primary. So I'll go ahead and change some of these other ones. Like I'll make this 24, I'll make this say 3.5, etc., etc. So I can make some of those types of changes. And not only can I change the parameters, but I can also change the I properties. So if I come up here and we look at the project, I could say change the description or the part number. And I'll be silly, I'll just call it Steve. I mean, you gotta have some fun. So there is that I property. We can also do things like changing the material. So maybe I'll just come over here and I'll just make it wood, birch, that's fine. So we go ahead and, and do that. <clears throat> and we can also suppress whatever features we want. Maybe we want some that have holes and maybe some that do not. So that's the idea with using the setup row because now when I go to edit this via Excel, <clears throat> we'll see that those columns are added for all the values that I modified. Here are all of the model states. There's the primary, there's the setup, and all of the values. So this is how we can really quickly build out our more complex versions simply by adding a row where I modify everything that I think that I'm going to want to modify for this particular set of model states. So pretty simple, but can be a really powerful way to get started. Hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please list them below and have a blessed day.